Oh, yeah. Ready for drive? Yeah, let's take this thing out. Everybody, there is so much in this video. We made a lot of progress. We were really excited and I'm really happy to show you this stuff. Um, as you can see in the background, the Red MR2, I don't know if you saw the last video, but if you did, I was gonna put the Tesla motor in this to bring it to the MR2 Nationals just because of time constraints. Well, I got a little ambitious and uh, you'll see in a second what we decided, what we decided to do, um, but yeah. It was all worth it. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of long hours, a lot of help from a lot of people. Spencer, Brian, Reese, Sean, Rashad, and the list goes on. So I like to thank all those people, Fuel Tech, Anderson. Uh, man, it's been an incredible ride. And now we reached one major milestone and we got plenty more where that came from. So please enjoy. this car um, and they have a plate for the Fisker Karma batteries it's kind of sat in here um, now I gotta kind of figure out how I want to make them bolt in um, I want to utilize their whole setup pretty much besides the back part um, but I can get most of the batteries right in here without cutting any of the structure out of the car minus that uh, tunnel but any of the main structure um, so I'm going to take some measurements now and then we'll see. So, as you guys can see, it's fitted really, really nice in there. Um, I'm going to extend that up and put some bolts into that front member there. And then I'm going to put bolts in the back one. I'm actually going to cut that tubular section out here to reinforce the motor mount. Because if you look on the other side, that's where that motor mount goes. So I'm actually going to stiffen that up a little bit. I'm going to open that whole section up, stiffen it up, and then that battery tray will bolt under to that. I'm going to cut that section off where that line is because um, we don't have the room there with the, the mount uh, for a battery there. Um, but I'm actually going to put the, the middle plate in here that has the coin. That's going to extend up off the top there. And um, let me put that in place and show you guys. Give me a second. Okay. I got the mid plate in there, which is a cooling plate. I got a piece of wood there to represent the thickness of the batteries that will be down there. It'll be the same thickness up top. Overall, I think the tunnel's going to be pretty much about the same. Maybe within an inch. Maybe a little, little bit more. But it's going to be really close to where the stock one was. But I wanted to show you how... In the engine bay, I'm going to have another battery sitting right up there. Um, those cooling lines will obviously be in, in the way there um, because the engine mount's right there. But I'm going to just be able to um, cut them off and reroute them. And I'll probably put a cooler right in the side pocket there where the stock inner cooler goes. So I'm really happy 
with how this is coming out. Definitely, definitely going to be nice. So, next week, I will be able to put some um, supports in there, and we'll keep on going. What you got, Rashad? Hey, man. How about this box is done? Way to go. Got the wiring harness. Oh, yeah. Nice little load. Plugs into the, uh, the box there, and it controls high voltage. Good okay. job. Oh, yeah. So, this is T-minus four days till I leave for the Nationals. We got Rashad wiring up this box here for us. We got the car inside. We got the steel down here to make our tunnel support. And then you got our hood. And then on the welding table over here, we got our motor, case is split. Just cleaning everything up. We got the reverse spin oil pump for the diff. Got that all in. So now we're just put some silicone on it, put it back together. Oh, and the diff is welded too. This is the pack out of the, the Fisker Karma. Most of them, this is not all of the, the batteries. It had like two bed cells in that, in that pack. So this is what will fit in the tunnel of the MR2. We won't get, there's 14 usually, we'll get 12. This back section needs to get cut off. Because we could have fit it, but we wanted, we didn't want to cut the structure of the car, A, and B, we want to be able to get this pack in and out from the bottom quickly. Here's some other. This is cool stuff here, guys. We're going to repurpose all of these conductors. This, this is some really nice cabling, all from the Fisk. This is high quality stuff that we just salvaged from the car. That's what I love about this, man. Get nice stuff for free. Hell yeah. There's Spencer back there. He's been doing a lot of welding. All right, Rashad, T minus, what is it? Three days to leave? Three days to leave. Uh, so we're finalizing the wiring harness now. Got the pedal all configured. Getting the encoder, wiring, all this little miscellaneous stuff. So next thing is we're gonna have the battery box completed. Uh, Anthony has a good design. We're gonna bolt it from the bottom. That's gonna be super cool. And uh, we're gonna spin this thing up. Hell excited. yeah. Let's go look at the car real quick and then we'll go show you guys the batteries. All right. So we started caging this out. We're boxing it out, I should say. We actually reinforced that whole motor mount area back there. Tied in the seat rails and the side or the yeah, side supports a little bit, and then in the front, Spencer did some plates and stuff up there. So we are gonna make our mounts. Let's go look at the batteries. All right, here we are. 13 kilowatts. It all fits nicely. Anthony, you're gonna cut this off so it fits in the uh, chassis. Yep. And then we're gonna wire all of these individual modules in series for about just shy of 300 volts, just for testing, which should be plenty. And these are easily capable of over 900 amps. So we got a lot of power. Whoop, whoop. A lot of power. All right. Rashad is right here. Almost done wiring the batteries. Let's, Let's get see. The bad boys down. Get ready to put this thing in our series them all work together yeah so we have our modified um tray right here for the uh fisker and we cut off the cooling pieces back here but we're gonna have to redo that in the future right now we're not worried about it we're not gonna push it for the mr2 meet we'll go over check out the car let's go look over here door panels off check it out so we got our battery mount locations battery tray mount locations and we closed out the panels there so this interior is going to get all cleaned up in a minute here and primed so yeah i'm sure i'm looking great right now but uh it's going along really well i had a lot of help Reese, Sean, Spencer, Rashad, Anderson from Fuel Tech, Brian, Excess Motor Works. It's, it's been awesome. If I missed anybody, I'm really sorry. 
but yeah this thing's starting to come along and uh it's what time right now it's 9 30 at night on wednesday night the meet starts friday i'm not going to go to that dino day um but i'm going to go to the car show that's on saturday so i gotta leave here friday very early to go to dallas it's about i think 800 miles or so motors right here all back together ready to go or got the connector back in um brian got the diff back in Shad's over here getting our battery tray all finished up. How many volts is this? About 300. About 300 volts for the first go on this thing. All right, guys. There's Spencer. He's been doing a lot of welding and fab. We've been putting a lot of hours in. A lot. Yeah. All right, all right guys. It's now 11 o'clock and we're all prepped and taped off, cleaned, ready to paint the interior. frame of the hood. Patrick trimmed it for me, which was nice, and then I trimmed out these vents. So, now it's bonded, and I'm going to get a little bit of rest before tomorrow's big day of putting this motor back in here. Right now, the interior is looking good. <laughs> Back at the shop. Man. Putting the time. Yeah. The time is now 10:57, 11, 11 o'clock p.m. Night before I gotta leave. And uh, let's see, Spencer, we're making some uh, battery gloves, as he was calling them. He's got his junction box almost done. Batteries are wired really nicely. Is this an obstacle course or a work? You gotta go next to the car. But yeah. Um, we're gonna have to put it on the transmission jack or maybe yeah. two to get it under there because this thing is probably this thing is too tall. Yes. Well guys, we thought we majorly messed up. So we gonna put the battery up in here. And all of a sudden we realize. But these batteries on this side, some of them, they're sticking over our plate. They don't have enough clearance to get up in there. The other ones are flush on both sides and we couldn't figure out why. And now we do because we alternated the batteries and they don't like being in this way. So what Rashad's trying to do now is to take those covers off to see if that buys a space covering the board probably. And four. And these two and these two. If we can get that out and take the cable off, we can slide it up in there. If not, we're gonna have to take this whole thing apart and reconfigure the batteries. Alrighty, so guys, here is the moment of truth. I have the high voltage circuitry wired up completely. I have it filtered through the light bulb pre-charge circuit slash safety circuit setup. Um, and it's kind of crudely wired up now with the um, signal wires, but Everything is where it should be, and we're going to do a slow test right now. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, it's in. I'm going to preload it. Just, yeah, we we'll go. I think that's easy to pull you. <laughs> Shoot. If I'm in emergency, that's going to. Oh, yeah, this, so we'll just practice with it. Just want to run us. Yeah. So you can put it back in now. 
That's made to go down the highway. I could probably make something. Yeah, you, you make something where you can maybe pull it with a strap. Yeah. But uh, okay. So now next step is I'm actually going to energize the entire circuit. You know what's funny? You actually have a switch. Remember last time we used yeah. to like touch oh, yeah. wires no, and no, shit. No. <laughs> I heard. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we wanted. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> fuel tech's on too. Wow. Yep. Fuel tech's wired up. Wow. That was impressive. That was exactly what we want to see. The flash that means that the capacitors inside of the Tesla unit are pre charged. Now, oh, impressive. I heard it. That's the positive contactor. Now it's going to await a forward or reverse signal, which actually is already there. Wheels are up. Wheels are up. Okay, hold on. Let's see? All right, we don't have we don't have any power just yet. That's fine. All right, I need to check some settings. But so far, everything did exactly like it was supposed to do. All of the contactors, everything is energized. So that's a huge step that nothing blew up. That means everything is right. I just may need to tweak a few settings. So let's see what's going on. All right, everybody. Um, it's, uh, you can't see it's backwards, but it's almost five o'clock in the morning and we're wrapped up. So Rashad and Spencer just left. They were here with me the whole time. I had Sean, Reese, uh, Brian, freaking, oh man, if I can, if I'm missing somebody, I'm really sorry. My brain is not on right now. But uh, yeah, we had a lot of help and we got a lot done. So we'll see you at the Nationals. here last night at like 2 a.m. up at 6 at the show set up and the show is done we did good but we were here and it's done now tomorrow's uh race day and uh monday is drag race day so i can't wait for that MR2 Nationals is a wrap. We're loaded up. Let me show you the car. I haven't really, I showed you some pictures, but I haven't really been, done a video. So, here you go. Good shot of the engine bay. Hux Racing motor mounts. Bolt all into the stock locations. And we got our battery box here. Fuel tech in the dash. All right, when we get home, we got some little loose ends to tie up and some tuning work to do. And then this thing will have its first drive. Wow! Are we going to spin it for them tomorrow? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, boy! Oh, sucker's strong. <laughs> All right, we're going to try reverse. <laughs> Reverse. Oh, take it easy there. Yeah, yeah that's a lot of power. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Get it again. I want to see how it feels. Oh, 
out straight the axle. No, they're not going to be straight at all. Right, well, they go, all right, let's go get a straight. video. Go ahead. Holy moly. Here we go. It's in reverse. See how crooked our axles feet. are. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh. Time to load up for caffeine and octane. All right. So, faster. That's fuse. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have power. All right. Heard something. Everything's on. Now I gotta turn uh, the contactors on. All right, contactors are on. Forward or reverse, I don't know. We'll find out. I turns it to the right. That's, That's reverse. That's reverse. <laughs> Forward. Oh my God, it's driving. Load it up, ready for CNO.
Don't let me